water and surcharge loads. ReadyRock Wall allows users to accurately model various forces acting on a wall, including those due to water, surcharge loading, or other applied forces. To include the effects of hydrostatic pressure, several options are available within the Water tab, allowing the user to account for water just behind the wall, on both sides of the, of the wall, with a hydraulic gradient, or with a varied profile. We'll model our wall with a 7.5 foot depth of water on the back of the wall and 8.5 feet on the front, ignoring the effects of uplift. To define surcharge loading acting on the retained soil behind the wall, select the Surcharge tab and click Add. Several types are available, including surface, strip, trapezoidal, point, line, and horizontal. Note that several different surcharges can be entered acting con concurrently. For each surcharge, its action is sent to permanent, variable, or accidental. This dictates the load factors and how the load is considered for computing resistance. Let's call our surcharge traffic It will be a strip surcharge. Because it's a live load, it'll have a variable type of action. It will be acting on the top of terrain. We'll set the origin to begin at the top of our embankment at a distance of 16 feet from the wall, and we'll give it a length of 20 feet. Its magnitude will be 250 pounds per square foot. Click on Add. If you had more surcharges to enter, do that now. Click Cancel to stop inputting. The Applied Forces tab allows the user to enter discrete loads that might act on the wall, such as barrier loads. They are entered similar to surcharge loads by entering the point of application, direction, and magnitude. For our example, we will not include any discrete forces.